Hey, it's Arlen Schweiger with CE Pro, and I'm here with Brian Azano, Vice President of Stealth Acoustics. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Arlen. It's great to be here. Brian, so today we wanted to discuss home theater and specifically installing discrete home theater audio solutions. That is clearly something that Stealth Acoustics and the company that calls itself that knows a lot about. Um, so first off, just for people uh, and integrators who might not be familiar with the company, um, obviously we, we know we've covered you guys a lot on CE Pro. You always do uh, fantastically in our brand analysis. Um, but just remind some of the integrators and introduce, your, in, introduce yourself to some integrators who might not be familiar with the company. Thanks, Erlen. Yeah, Stealth Acoustics uh, has been making speakers since around the year 2000. And in the industry, we're known as one of the companies that has helped to pioneer the category of invisible speakers uh, into the spotlight here, especially in the last few years. All right. And in terms of where uh, where the company is based, about what size your uh, your dealer base is these days? So, yeah, we are based uh, just north of Seattle, Washington, uh, in the upper Pacific West, uh, northwest corner of the United States. And we are distributed on, on a global scale. Uh, we maintain a close relationship with about 500 to 1,000 dealers here within the United States alone. Fantastic. So in terms of those invisible loudspeakers, uh, yeah, we really want to uh, dig into that a bit today uh, because we know there are some, uh, I believe there have been some misconceptions perhaps that dealers might have about those or just things that, you know, they're not quite certain about when it comes to installing, you know, invisible speakers, mm -hmm. true invisible speakers versus architectural solutions. And for, you know, distributed audio, obviously it makes a lot of sense. For home theater audio, it makes a lot of sense as well, uh, but it might not be the first thing that dealers consider. So first off, obviously there are a lot of architectural solutions out there. Um, reasonings behind they should go from architectural to true invisible. Well, any project I think uh, benefits from a well thought out design. And, you know, many of our top tier integrators are working on high end luxury residential projects where um, in working with an interior designer is expected. And, you know, working with them to overcome finishing challenges and, and to being able to achieve their aesthetic in these spaces, but yet still maintain a no compromise um, audio or video setup inside the home is paramount. So Stealth's mission has really always been over the years to be able to uh, bridge the gap between the, the designer's eyes and the audiophile's ears, let's just say, right? Because, uh, you know, many dealers out there have had experiences with other brands of invisible speakers or early model invisible speakers. And, you know, the category is such a in such an infancy right now that m much of that product really left a, a lackluster impression with, with many integrators and end users alike. So Stealth's really been about trying to change um, that, 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 that way of thinking about the invisible speaker. And we're trying to do that through by putting our money where our mouth is, so to speak, and, and really trying to produce a quality product uh, that really is no compromise over a traditional type architectural speaker when used properly and installed properly and tuned properly. Yeah, Brian, in terms of um, your solutions and your dealers, if you could pinpoint, you know, maybe one or two common questions that they have a, a, of you um, or your team when they're talking about invisible speakers, um, and what are some of the common things that you guys are clarifying for them? Is it the sound quality these days? Is it the uh, amount of labor involved in, in an installation? These are all important points that we like to touch on with our dealer. Um, but there's also, you know, with added labor for installation, there's also more opportunity for a higher profit margin in many cases for dealers. Uh, and I think we've, you know, proven time and time again that if, an, if a dealer can embrace this category and offer this type of product on at least some facet of their project, uh, you can see returns and higher profitability than, than in many other areas in that project. Um, you know, one of the most common questions we get, and this is directly related to how we work and sync with the design community, is how can you finish the speaker? How, how do you make it truly disappear? 
um, beyond the standard, let's call it sheetrock finish, you know, and, and paint or texture. And the answer is usually quite appealing to interior designers. It, it, it's often uh, an opportunity for them to be able to specify uh, more exotic wallpapers and other wall finishings, because in reality, you know, as long as we're mindful of our coverage limitations, uh, we are able to laminate other products over the face of the invisible speaker and be able to mesh with that designer's vision. Uh, and again, without having to sacrifice the audio quality. That's a that's a, a fantastic point to make, Brian. Uh, and does that go for architects as well when they're constructing? If it's a new build, um, when you're constructing them, does it, it just give them a lot more opportunity as well? It sounds like uh, the prospects of invisible speakers um, can really help solidify those types of relationships then uh, for dealers. Even, truly, you know, especially in a home theater room where you're looking for, you know, just very, the, the, you know, the customer's personalities and, you know, design preferences to show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, using invisible speakers in, in some portion of the, of the project uh, really can give the installer a lot of flexibility. You know, you can put the invisible speaker into places and situations that you would never consider putting a traditional speaker simply because you'd see a strange looking grill in a strange looking place, for instance. So when you combine the, uh, the fact that the speakers can be finished in a multitude of ways, with the flexibility of being able to move a speaker uh, to avoid an obstacle or a light fixture or uh, to, to fit into a certain column or pillar in the room, um, you know, and not look out of place, uh, that's a powerful, powerful tool for the integrator. Right. And it, it could be a short sightedness or a misconception on my part. When I think of invisible speakers, I tend to think of them as being installed in the ceiling mostly, but I suppose as I should really be thinking about them as invisible in wall and in ceiling products because your dealers are installing them, like you just said, um, in columns, under stretch fabric, acoustical treated fabric, and uh, other treatments like that. That is that the way that they're installing? Uh, you know, I guess maybe tell us about the LRX series and how those are, you know, they're done mm -hmm. in both walls and the ceilings. Yeah, so all of our speakers are, are equally at home in the wall or the ceiling. Uh, you know, when it comes to distributed audio, 90% of the time we see the speakers in the ceiling. And given the wide dispersion, especially some of our uh, models that are most geared for distributed audio, uh, the dispersion characteristics are so great that in many ways it is truly a, a better speaker to use for distributed audio systems. You can create seamless uh, audio zones and, and, and create an environment where a user can pass through and not experience any dead spots or bright spots. But alternatively, if you look to some of our more premium grade speakers, uh, some of our speakers that are a little bit more geared for other aspects or other projects such as even surround sound systems, um, you know, the LRX uh, 83, the LRX 85, and even the the last generation LR3, which is still in our portfolio, these are all speakers that have uh, some specialized characteristic that lend themselves to be applicable to be used for discrete home theater systems. Uh, and for that, we typically recommend in-wall installation, uh, especially for the front sound stage whenever possible. Uh, in some environments, it's simply not possible, and you do have to go into the ceiling for installations. I know of many surround sound systems where all channels of, of sound have been wired to the ceiling and, and invisible speakers have been used. I know that uh, many purists and home theater aficionados would, would not really uh, be open to that kind of concept. And frankly, the invisible speaker isn't always destined to be used in the dedicated theater in the home, uh, but rather the living room that you want unmarred and untouched by speaker grills or a media room where an ultra modern and clean aesthetic is desired, or frankly, even the TV in the kitchen, uh, in the dining nook, you know, that you want surround sound in that room, it's completely achievable. Um, by either in-wall or in-ceiling installations and the use of specifically the LRX line of, of, of stealth speakers. Right, and we know from our research uh, that's actually in, in going out this month um, in CE Pro and in June CE Pro that home theaters are very often, uh, certainly there's a portion that are, you know, on their own and standalone in terms of um, 
the technology related to them, but a lot of the times they're another room that's an extension of a multi-room AV project. So a lot of dealers, they could be installing stealth and designing it throughout the house anyway. Probably would make sense to keep going and, and having that continuation um, of the aesthetic in, in the home theater too then. Yeah, in some cases, it's the concept is paramount to the project. In in certain instances where the designer has a specific vision for a specific area of the home, and if that vision needs to mesh with the 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 homeowner's use of the room, then sometimes the invisible speaker is the absolute best option. Right. It certainly opens up a whole bunch of uh, flexibility for the integrators involved. Uh, it strengthens those those potential relationships. Uh, with other trades on projects and, and certainly addresses today's design trend that we're seeing here a lot at CE Pro. So mm -hmm. uh, with that all, all together, um, Brian Nazano, it sounds like Stealth Acoustics fits into a, a lot of potential mix there for the dealers. Uh, we appreciate you running through all this with us today at CE Pro. Thanks, Arlen. Have a great day.